Hello. You're in Canada. Hello everyone, my name is Reggie and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, you should definitely hit that subscribe button because I post new videos every week on this channel. This one's a little bit different, but all my videos do involve books, reading, storytelling, stuff like that. So it's definitely bound to be a good time if you love books, reading, writing, all that fun stuff. But today we are going to be doing a 24 hour reading vlog, essentially. That's what I think I'm gonna call it. These have been all the rage of the last like six months, I'd say on booktube. This isn't like a thing I normally would have time to like do, read for 24 hours straight. I just reading vlogs and reading like that just doesn't, it's not conducive to the way my life, my week works out. But Manny is actually off in Canada. <laughs> Funnily enough, he just called me as I hit record on this to tell me he just made it across the border. I took the day off because I uh, had quite a few vacation days left. Since I have a three day weekend at my disposal, I figured I would focus 24 hours on reading, but we're not starting at midnight. I'm still gonna sleep cause like I need sleep to function and I also don't wanna like screw up my sleep schedule cause I do have to be back to work on Sunday, but I might like stay up later or sleep a little less than normal to get as much reading in. I don't know, but it's not like I'm gonna be staying up for 24 hours, I will be sleeping. It's currently 3.55 PM, so I am going to share with you what I wanna read real quick and then we'll start at 4 PM and I'll read till 4 PM tomorrow. So my number one priority for these 24 hours is to finish Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy and Yemi. I have been reading this since my honeymoon, which was like in June, so. That's not good. But the thing is, I'm loving every second of this. I just don't sit down and devote time to read it very often. I've been either reading arcs that I just had to get done or audiobooks. That's just been my life as of late. So I've read a lot of it. Every time I've sat down to read it, I've gotten like 50 or 100 pages in. I have about 200 pages left. Another priority of mine is Lock and Key. Lock and Key, if you don't know, is my favorite graphic novel of all time. This is a spinoff sequel, maybe a prequel, I don't know, based on the Lock and Key graphic novel series by Joe Hill and illustrated by Gabrielle Rodriguez. And it is one of my favorite, no, no, it is my all time favorite graphic novel series. I love it so, so much. It's super short, like super short. Sorry about the air. Normally I turn the air off when I'm filming, but it's a vlog, so I'm not gonna. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's the way it's gonna be. So next up is the last book on my like actual TBR. This is The Other Side of Lost by Jessie Kirby. If you don't know, Jessie Kirby is one of my all time favorite authors. This is her newest release and this is a book about a girl who has quite a substantial-ish following online and she has a breakdown on the internet and her fan base doesn't take well to it. So she decides to unplug, I believe. And I just love Jessie Kirby's writing, so I'm all about this. If I still have time after that, do you really want to read The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo? This is a book that's told in verse. I heard really good things about the audiobook. I tried to start listening to the audiobook one day. I couldn't follow along, along very well because I kept getting distracted. Like, I was driving and I was just like, I can't pay as much attention to this audiobook as I want. So I want to, like, read and listen at the same time. All right, let's go. It's actually... 402, so missed it by two minutes, so if I go over by just a little bit, I'll be okay. And we're off. So I'm currently listening to The Other Side by Lucia Carria, Cara, I keep saying her name wrong, and I'm about to start The Other Side of Lost, so that's funny. So, sorry if the quality of this video is not as great, I'm filming this on my phone, but I'm on page 50 and I just start crying. So I'm reading The Other Side of Lost by Jesse Kirby. Um, every Jesse Kirby book I've ever read has made me cry. Um, I always say one day there's gonna be a book that I read of hers that's not gonna make me cry and it's gonna be this one, insert the one I'm reading. And um, yeah, 50 pages in, so we didn't even make it that far before I start crying. <laughs> Dinner. 
so still reading this literally any time that a book is set in california and they mention like outdoors stuff i always think oh it's gonna be set in yosemite and that's not always the case actually like maybe 50 50 percent i'm right and 50 50 that that's how 50 50 works 50 percent of the time i'm right 50 percent of the time i'm wrong but this book the outdoor element is that in Yosemite and that makes me so happy because if you don't know Yosemite is my favorite place in the whole wide world. I grew up in Central California. Yosemite is my favorite place. I worked with Yosemite when I was a senior in college. It was like my capstone project was to do a PR project for Yosemite. They hold such a special place in my heart. It's like my favorite place. The first time I ever saw snow in my life was at Yosemite. Like I just really love Yosemite. Like it, it, it's an unhealthy love <laughs> for this place. So. Currently, Jesse Kirby is just describing Yosemite right now, and I'm just like, ugh, in love with this book so much. So, because of my personal attachment in so many ways, um, I think this is just gonna be a book I adore. So I'm gonna finish the chapter I'm on, and that will take me to page 80, and then I'm gonna go walk my dog. And I think I'm gonna start an audiobook. I, when I gave my TBR at the beginning of this video, I didn't list a straight up audiobook that I could listen while I'm like, doing things so i probably won't finish that but i think i'm gonna start connor franta's i don't know what it's called but his first memoir just because i checked that out of my library just um got to page 170 I, it's like nine o'clock at night or something i took a lot of breaks i listened to some music and just jammed out got super distracted i watched some youtube videos um the last thing you saw was me walking my dog and eating dinner and then i came back to read and got a little distracted but regardless i'm on page 170 now and i'm like just little baby tears i don't know if you can even see that but like little baby tears when i'm crying i'm just like <laughs> this book Ugh, I don't think a lot of people would like get this emotional over it it's not like it's super sad but it's not like you're sad over something you you haven't gotten a chance to be attached to so it's it's hard I don't think a lot of people would necessarily get the sad oh also my hair looks like a mess um but it's just hitting me so hard Ugh, this book I'm really loving it if you couldn't tell but I don't know <sighs> okay that's it I'm gonna go back to reading I just felt like I had to share that that page 170 made me cry again it's like 12 p.m. 12 30 but I made it to 285 in the other side of lost which is like honestly 20 pages away from the end okay good morning I woke up <laughs> I walked my dog and I am here to give you an update. So yesterday I started reading at four. I got super distracted a lot, but by one in the morning I had finished The Other Side of Lost by Jesse Kirby, which was so, so good. I really, really loved this book. I think I'd give it like a 4.5 or 5 stars. I cried a couple of times, but it wasn't like sobbing crying. So that's great. I slept way later than I meant to. And I walked my dog for a really long time since uh, I did that. So now we're looking at 10.30 in the morning. So I don't have much time left to read. I'm gonna start, I think, with Walking Key since this is short, try to knock it out and get myself kind of back into the reading mood. Then I'm going to focus on Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adiemi because like I said, this was my priority for the entire weekend because I just want to finish this. <clears throat> just want to finish this, not in a bad way, but just like, I've been reading it for so long, it's so good. I owe it to this book to just continue it. I also need to cook. Um, I think I'm gonna, gosh, it's such an awkward time in the day. I think I'm just gonna like make an early lunch in a little bit. So while I do that, I think I'm gonna try to start the Poet X, just kind of have it laying out while uh, food cooks and then listen to the audiobook. I'm cooking a pot pie for lunch. It'll be ready at like 11, but I normally eat 11 at lunch since I work seven to four at work, so I'm fine with that. And I just finished 
Rock and Key, A Small World, which was great. It was like a very short story, so like there's only so much you can get from that, but I love this world and I love going back to it. So I think I give this a four stars. And I've thought about this more. This is definitely a 4.5, but I'm going to rate it 5 on Goodreads because it deserves it. I also realized when I was giving you an update this morning, I forgot to mention that I started listening to Connor Franta's audiobook when I've been walking my dog and stuff like that. So it's A Work in Progress by Connor Franta. This is his memoir, and I am 33% through it exactly. So I'll probably listen to it like when I go to the gym today, when I walk my dog, if I decide to clean or take a break then I'll read it. I'd love to finish it, but like it's not my focus right now. So this is my focus after lunch, but I think I'm going to either listen to Connor Franta's book or listen to the Poe X while I eat. It's 12.30, so I'm getting, getting down to the nitty gritty, and I still have to go to the gym today. I guess I could do that after four, but if I wait until after four, that's when all like the bros will be at the gym, so I need to go sooner than that, so we'll see how the rest of this day goes. All right, so I'm not gonna tell you my progress so far. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wait till the end because I'm drawing close to the end of the day, but it is about 2.30 and I wanna go to the gym for about an hour and then probably take a shower so I might not be able to get some re much reading done I am going to listen to Connor Franta's memoir and then I'm going to come back and if there's time left read some more and then I'll like you know get ready and do a proper wrap up of how the 24 hours went in front of my bookshelf so see you in a bit so it's 4 p.m. it's been 24 hours and I guess I should wrap it up. Basically, I uh, ended up coming home from the gym and sitting down and reading, so I didn't take a shower. So I'm actually gonna go clean myself up and then give you the proper wrap up in front of the bookshelf, like I said I would. I just kind of really wanted that cool four o'clock shot. All right, let's do this. So uh, natural hair, I hope you don't mind. It's just um, the weekend. I didn't want to straighten it. So. What do we know already? We know already that I have finished The Other Side of Lost by Jesse Kirby. Loved it. Talked about it a lot during this reading vlog, but if you want a full review, let me know because I could do that. Um, gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Gave it a 5 on Goodreads because it deserves the love. And normally I go down when I do a half rating, but for this time I went up because I felt it deserved it. Also read Lock and Key by Joe Hill and Gabrielle Rodriguez. This is such a great graphic novel series. The original Lock and Key is wonderful. This is a spinoff. Technically, I think it's a prequel. Um, it's called Small World. It's great. It's super short though. I gave it four out of five stars just because I think you didn't get enough time to like really dig into these characters and get to know them. It sounds like there's going to be more from these characters though. So hopefully that will be solved with more character development and just more exposure to these characters. So great time though. If you like the Lock and Key graphic novels, definitely recommend reading this one. If you haven't checked them out yet, definitely recommend checking them out because Lock and Key, all time favorite graphic novel series and they're perfect for this time of year. I did finish. The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. I ended up just sitting down, well, I read half of it while sitting down and eating lunch, and then I read the second half a few hours later after I took a break to read something else. Great, great, oh my gosh, so good. Five out of five stars, one of the best books I've read this year. It's about a Latinx girl in New York City going through just life, exploring poetry, finding her voice. It's so good, five out of five stars. Ugh. I loved it. Then I finished Work in Progress by Connor Franta. I listened to this on audiobook. This is his memoir. I'm like a decent Connor Franta fan. I wouldn't say like I'm a huge fan. Obviously this has been out for years and years and I haven't read it until now. Super easy to read in one sitting. I think it was pretty good. I'd give it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I'd say it's pretty standard fare for your like uplifting YouTuber memoir. I think if you really like Connor Franta, you're going to love it. Give it 5 out of 5 stars. If you don't know him, I think he's really smart and wise. I think he, he really gets his point across, but I don't want to say it's like above 
um, what you kind of would expect from someone who's well-spoken in his uh, area. I think like 3.5, maybe four is where I'd land this memoir. And then the whole point of doing this whole 24 hour reading vlog, or at least the priority in doing this was to finish this bad boy, Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adiemi. Did I finish Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adiemi? I did. Did I trick you? It's because I didn't talk about reading it that much, but I read it in spurts here and there throughout the 24 hours and I was able to conclude this book and it was great. Solid five out of five. I really, really love this. So glad I finished it. So basically what happened is I went to the gym, then I got back and I still had time before my 24 hours were up. So instead of taking a shower, I sat down and read this and I finished it and then that's when in the clip you saw me saying like, I'm gonna go take a shower and then I'll be back. I read five books in 24 hours, technically four because I had already started Blood and Bone by Tommy and Yemi, but like 200 pages could be a whole book. So like, that's fine. Just because I didn't read the whole like 500 page book doesn't mean I didn't read the equivalent of a whole book. So I think I'm gonna count that as five books anyways. And I'm gonna say I'm super proud of myself. I really hope you enjoyed this 24 hour reading vlog. I know it's something different on my channel, but it's something that like booktube has been enjoying and I wanted to try it out and see how I felt about it. So, and this was the only time I really could fit it into my schedule. So if you enjoyed this, let me know. Thumbs up this video, comment down below, all that fun stuff. Subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.